Welcome to another episode from Cascade Overlanders. Today we're going to be tracking the backcountry roads from Cascadia to Sisters, Oregon. Now we've had a lot of snowfall in the last couple days, so let's see how far we get. So one thing I forgot to mention in the intro, this was actually one of our very first adventures we had filmed. So I apologize if the video quality is not quite up to par. We were still getting used to our equipment, getting used to how we wanted to film everything and how everything was going to come together. Uh, so we've learned a lot since this very first trip and uh, you'll see that in our upcoming episodes. So we just encountered our first down tree here on the trail, cut it down. Being the first snowfall of the year, I expect we're going to see a lot more of this. So we just hit our first obstacle here. This is, uh, we kind of know it as Ice Hill. It is a sharp curve with a very steep uphill. It's always, I mean, almost every time we come up here where there's any snow at all, it always gives us problems. So we aired down even more. We went all the way down to 13 PSI, kind of fixed our tracks a little bit so they weren't so slick and we're gonna go try to give it another run out of here. So hopefully we make it. So we just got probably about halfway up the trail. Yeah. This is a rock quarry we always stop at for lunch, it seems like. Let the kids stretch their legs, get out and play. This is this is Hunter's first time seeing snow. What do you think of it, Hunter? What do you think, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> you don't know what to think. Anyways, we're going to stop here for lunch for a little bit, let the kids play a little bit, get some food in our bellies, and then hit the trail again. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm recording by the way. So, we just stopped for lunch. Everyone's eating some sandwich, peanut butter sandwiches. We uh, got out and played a whole bunch and uh, took our family photo or family portrait, hopefully, for this year. So, uh, we're going to finish up eating lunch here and uh, see how far we can keep going. After that ice hill, it was a little treacherous, but uh, we seem to be doing pretty good, making good time. It's only 1.30 right now, so we'll see how far we can get. And, uh 12. 12.30. Daylight savings was the other day, so... Uh, anyways, we're making great time. We got plenty of time today. We don't have any timetable to keep to, so once we're done eating lunch here, we're gonna hit the trail and see how far we can get. So we're here uh, just before Tombstone. We decided to kind of cut out because, as you can see, it got a it got quite hairy. There's quite a few situations where it got very difficult to make tracks. I mean, we're still completely stock. We haven't got the lift on her yet or the extra tires, bigger tires. So um, we then decided to take option B and come out right at, right before Tombstone here on Highway 20, and then uh, so. We're going to go ahead and continue up Highway 20 after we get done airing up our tires and go continue our trek all the way up to Sisters from here. We made it quite a ways, but uh, I think for this rig and this time of year, it's as far as we're going to make it. Originally we had recorded a little bit here about this bakery in Sisters, Oregon. And it's anytime you're in Sisters, I highly recommend stopping by. They got great donuts and baked goods. Um, but when we got back and checked the footage, it was all out of focus. And like I said before, you know, we're we're getting used to our equipment on this run. This was kind of our shakedown run, so I apologize. So you'll just have to take my word for it and go try it yourself next time you're in Sisters. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, please make sure and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications when we have future videos. And as always, go out there, have fun, and find your adventure.